What is going on YouTube? Support Sanity back with another MLB Battle Royale video. And in today we're going to be trying to go for four wins. And as you can see, the lineup is Flashback, 88 overall Sean Green, the 99 Jimmy Rollins, um, normal Charlie Blackman, Eduardo Nunez, Flash, uh, Eddie Murray, Aladimus Diaz rookie card, Melky Cabrera, Brera, and Wilson Ramos and on the bench we have Michael Saunders, Brock Holt, Jose Barraza, Tony Kemp, and Danny Santana and in the bullpen David Phelps, Carlos Estevez, Sergio Romo, Yumi Garcia, Emmy Romero and Luke Gregerson who is a low-key beast and we've got the New York Dune squad he's got Andre Ethier, Troy Tulowitzki, Chris Davis, Gary Sanchez, Pedro Alvarez, Matt Holliday, Jock Peterson, Ben Zobrist and his pitcher. And, you know, he's got one of those generic logos. And as you can see, I'm 11 and 12. Not really doing that well this season, although I've been kind of messing around since it's the Infinity Series. And he's starting off with Andre Ethier. Go to the bullpen, of course, quickly. Pull up Dan Jennings here. And um, the beast, the Gregerson himself. And in this game, I do believe I actually left Garrett in for quite a long time. Almost two innings, I do believe, because he was just out there dealing. And he had a bunch of varieties that weren't really good at hitting lefties. A bunch of lefties that I just left him in for because I figured, you know, my highest lefty was a 70 overall. But here we go. Strike him out right here with a slider. He's got the 97 Troy Tulowitzki, which is an absolute beast and this at bat took so long it took like a solid 10 pitches to get through like that's pitch three here comes pitch four i just no matter what i threw at him he could not i could not get him out through everything i don't know, the slider the change of he would be late he'd be early he found it off oh my god it took forever it's crazy long at bat he just kept fouling it off and fouling it off and finally on an outside <laughs> pitch here I was so scared to throw that but finally got him to fly out first baseman took him long enough but he was fighting up there probably didn't help I have a comment on the round and then I decided to leave him in because Chris Davis is terrible against lefties and I just kept throwing that slider in there and he could not handle that slider as he grounds out to the pitcher all right, moving on to the bottom of the first. We got Jimmy Rollins up here. He kept pausing the game for like 30 seconds at a time. It was so annoying. Anyway, Jimmy Rollins up here. And this was a really good at bat by by me. I'd have to say here. He uh he had me, and then this Josh Josh Fields Carter did not realize had a 70 mile per hour curveball, which is insane. I did not expect that, and it kind of caught me off guard here in the first at bat of the game. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm just swinging wild, you know. It's kind of how I am at this game. And there's that 70 mile per hour curveball that I'm surprised they hit. And of course, he throws it right down the middle. And here I am, I keep fighting it off, but honestly, this was really, really good at bat. She th tries to throw that curveball inside there to get me in. It's a little too slow for me to uh, to catch me off guard there. There's another one inside. I went from one and two to three and two here. And he walks me on a terrible outside changeup. I got Chuck Nasty up, the beast himself. This man is so good. His swing is beautiful in this game. It's fucking it's butter. And of course, you know, you take one step off in this game and everyone's got to try to pick you off. No matter who, what you do, you can have 99 speed, they don't really care. And try to hit and run there, and of course I missed it, but he gets on second base, thankfully. The pitch was right down the middle, and I missed it. Keeps throwing these, he keeps throwing every pitch down the middle, and I just can't seem to hit it right now. And throws that curveball again, that 70 mile an hour curveball. Then he. High and inside, I'm gonna swing it at that. 
fell it off. I thought here I was out. So I would have been so mad here. I thought for sure he caught that on the stands. And he leaves one hanging and boom! A bomb. Chuck Nasty. Ripping it out of the park. Uh, go up 2 nothing early in the first inning. It was beautiful. He left that thing hanging. You can only leave so many pitches hanging before I'll hit it out. And I roped that one and I thought for sure that was a base hit. I hit very well with that Nunez. Thought I was going to be safe there. He's hustling down the line with that 92 speed. I can't seem to hit very well with this hitting Murray. Not very good. I, I do want to try out the 99 overall. Unless he brings in the 90 postseason. David Price, who is really, really good in this game. Got such a good two seam and cutter combo that it's hard to, to handle it. He throws in the high 90s. But I rip one. Finally get a base hit with Eddie Murray. In between the uh, third base and shortstop. I got Diaz up. He's a pretty good, pretty good beast here, but he's not very good against lefties. So, but I rip it up the middle off of David Price, and he's got no chance as he just runs, runs around the ball. Should have been up the middle anyway. And this Mookie Cabrera, I'm not really that big of a fan. Once he's got a decent contact switch hitter, but he's got no power, so he can't really do anything with it. And he's not really the best of fielders. As he almost hits me there with a cutter, which is a lot of movement, as you'll see throughout this game. I foul that one off. Another changeup in the zone. Can't seem to hit. Another cutter inside. He's trying to jam me a lot here. 3 2 counter. And I was so. So dumb for swinging at that. That was a terrible pitch, and for some reason he goes to second base there and barely gets me. I thought for sure I was going to be safe there, but I actually love this Gary Sanchez as in in the uh, actual Diamond Dynasty nine inning games, and I decided to leave Rich uh, Garrett in here because um, Sanchez has like 40 something contact against against lefties, but he does have like 90 power, which is a drawback, but it's better than 90 and 90 against righty, so I decided I'm going to risk it and leave him in here. I'm up 2-0. -oh. Why not? And I just get him to dribble down to Garrett again. This guy was not very good at hitting. Was not the best of hitters. He's got Pedro Alvarez. Might as well leave Garrett in, too, because he's got terrible contact against him. He mashes righties, though. He's a pretty good BR player. This guy just keeps swinging at my sliders. Try to jam him here with the two-seam. And get him to pop out to center fielder. As I said, this guy was not really too much of a threat in this game. And then Matt Holliday, who's also, I decided to look, and is also terrible against lefties. For some reason, this guy decided to put a guy who's terrible against lefties right after a lefty, so I just decided to leave Garrett in here. And Garrett goes a full two innings of baseball as a common pitcher. So, a little nervous with him out there, but. This guy wasn't really able to hit anything. I kept throwing the high inside fastball, slider. He couldn't hit anything. He just watches that one go right down the middle. And then we flash into the uh, top of the third here, up 2-0. I decided to put in Dan Jennings because I pinch hit uh, Garrett there. And he puts in, uh, or he has Jock Peterson in, who mashes righties. And then he puts in the rookie Adam Jones, who isn't bad against the right uh, lefties, but he's not the best at cards. And once again, just flies out to center field, as he had multiple times before. He's got up Ben Zobrist. I decided to put in uh, Luke Gregerson, who's got a filthy, filthy cutter. Filthy cutter two-seam combo, which I absolutely love to use. And his slider also has a nasty hook to it, too. He doesn't really throw the, fast, the fastest, but he's a beast, and... This guy just could not handle the cutter. I decided to go to the slider there that has quite a bit of movement. Somehow he fouls it off. I don't even know how he did that early. Way out of the zone, somehow fouls it off. And I just throw a crappy pitch there. Decided to come with the uh, change up here. And got him. He's, this guy was 
terrible Fred McGriff, who is another BR beast, got that 90 something power against righties, but terrible against lefties. <laughs> Only time you would ever use him is in BR. Keep just trying to nibble at the edges here. I'm a little nervous about this card, honestly. It's pretty good. So that cutter, that was a beautiful cutter. I don't know how we didn't swing at that one. Really don't know how we didn't swing at that one. So another throwaway pitch. I'm lucky I didn't hit him there. And then I decided screw it. I'm just gonna basically throw it down the middle here. And I get him to fly out. I thought that was a home run off the bat. And luckily Sean Green's there to uh, catch the ball. And that's it. We got the dub today. We're up four. We're going. We got four wins, one loss. Looking to go for five wins with the next game. If you like the video, like and subscribe for more content. There will be more Battle Royale games, more Diamond Dynasty games to come in the future. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of future videos.